Well, good morning. Today we're back on the tools. As you can see, I'm currently in the gym and uh, we're going to be building. I've got my workout out today. I think I was saying to Lids a second ago, when we had this gym flooring fitted here, I think the guy was here for about four hours just putting the floor down. I think my biggest challenge of today will be trying to move this beast of a machine on my own. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Hopefully I don't damage the floor in <laughs> moving it, but we shall see. And then I'm going to lay the floor across the back and then I'm going to build the power rack, the bench and everything else that I need to do to go with. The reason why I chucked a hat on is because I've got a bed head still. Yeah, I've not had any breakfast yet, so I'm going to be doing a fasted build session. <laughs> and fingers crossed that I get this done as quickly as possible because you never know. I might even have enough energy to do a gym session after it. So we're going to go on to a time lapse whilst I start on the gym flooring and trying to move this stuff. And uh, yeah, wish me luck because I think this is going to be a bit of a monstrous task. So yeah, let's get busy. I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there because I know you want it. Afraid to let it show. And I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? I think it's time. Stop tipping on our toes What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know Sure know you want it Afraid to let it show This is absolutely savage <laughs> It weighs like, I don't even know how much it weighs I think it's probably about, I don't know Maybe 300 kilograms But obviously I'm not lifting it, I'm just sliding it It's heavy, I'm struggling I'm Nearly there we're gonna get it into that corner, one pivot at a time. Afraid to let it show, and I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow? Why don't we let it? Why, why don't we let it grow, 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 grow? It grows stronger for every day. We just can't keep it away, no. Well, as you can see behind me, she's in. That was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna get a workout after today. I've got a funny feeling. But in the process of moving the cable machine, I've obviously caused a lot of rubber marks on the floor that I need to get rid of. So I've just run upstairs and grabbed myself this, I think they're called like magic pads. And if you've heard about these, then you're not gonna be learning anything new. But if you haven't, these are absolutely game changing. They basically just get marks that are quite difficult to get out, out of most fabrics and most materials. So I wouldn't use it on carpet or anything like that, but anything that's kind of like a hard surface, it does a really, really great job of getting anything out. I've even got like pen marks and stuff out using these. So I'm gonna quickly demonstrate this to you on the floor whilst we remove the rubber marks from the feet of the cable machine. So as you can see, we've got some marks over here, marks over there, and here. We got a little on the brush. Bob's your uncle. How easy is that? Well, as you can see, that's cleared up the best part of it. And this is what the pads look like. I don't quite understand how these work, but they work an absolute dream. So for this next phase, we're also gonna be putting the gym mat in down across the back. The reason why this is gonna go down is obviously to protect the floor because I'm gonna be having a power rack, a barbell, a bench that's gonna be situated on it. And we do have underfloor heating underneath the cardine, so the least amount of impact on the floor, the better. Um, I know that you can get kind of like pads and stuff that you can use to try to decrease the amount of impact um, on the floor beneath but the gym mat that I've got is a 20 millimeter thick rubber mat. They're one meter by one meter and I purchased them off a website called polymax.co.uk. The reason why I went with that company and that gym mat was because when we had this gym initially installed with some gym matting over this side of the gym where the mirrors are, 
we got a contractor in to come and do the floor and I don't know where they supplied the gym flooring from so I just did a little bit of digging online and I found that this was the closest match to this particular gym flooring. To me it looks pretty much identical, the only difference is are the trims that go on to uh, kind of like taper down into the mats themselves. The ones that I've got are only 50 centimetres and the ones that they supplied when they fitted it uh, were a metre long. Now, I have to confess, this is my first time ever fitting flooring. I actually helped in 2009, just after the recession, when I was working as an electrician, there wasn't loads of work on. And uh, me and my boss at the time, we fitted a wooden floor in his house. And so I did lay a floor then, but obviously it's a very different floor. This particular mat, I need to cut the standing knife to get rid of the joins that link the mats together. So when it runs across the edge of the skirting, I've obviously got a flat edge and not a puzzled pieced edge. One thing that I learned from being on site was that tilers and floor fitters, they don't really tend to work from an edge in. They always will centralize the mat in as best as possible because it's the most aesthetically pleasing to have a centralized piece of flooring and then they will work out or away from that particular location and then you'll find that all of the cuts are done around the edges of the room. Essentially, I've got a section of wall that needs three mats. So what I'll do is I'll centralize the middle mat and then I'll trim off each end mat to try and keep a nice symmetrical finish to the area. If you look over here, I'm gonna be bringing the gym mats almost to the peak of the wall just here and then it'll just come cut straight away across. So that's gonna be my next task. Um, what I'm going to be using is a level because I need a straight line and a Stanley knife, nice fresh blades. Um, so I'm going to be super careful and we're going to be busy installing these now and then we can get cracking on with building the power rack. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you riding, I double. I don't do discussions, I'm bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50, it's really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side I don't know if you thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Full of pictures, dimensions, I don't with your digits, I mean it, I'm staying inside. Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted a full wind affection, I summon and dub it. Just before we move into the next section, I thought I'd quickly show you the floor that's just been installed. Lovely. So, as you can see, it's basically an identical match to the gym flooring over here, which is great. So, we're going to get onto the uh, build stage now. I'm going to be putting the power rack together. Let's do this.
see behind, the power rack has been installed. I've currently got the dip bar attachment on it and I am waiting for the landmine attachment and also the plate holders. So the actual barbell plates will be stacked on the side of the rack itself. But I do need to look at a way of trying to fix it down. Perhaps when more equipment's on it, it'll give it a little bit of sturdiness. It's a tiny bit wobbly at the moment because I don't want to drill into the ground because obviously down the floor heating. So um, at the minute, it's a little bit wobbly, but I think that'll be resolved when I start putting plates on it and just adding general weight. So yeah, really happy with it. It feels like the uh, build of the actual frame itself is really good quality. And for the price that these power racks go for, I think it's very, very reasonable. So um, I will leave a link to all of the items that I'm installing today in the description box below. And also I've got a bench that I'm just gonna build now that'll actually go in the rack. So I'm gonna be busy doing that. And we're getting closer and closer to having this section done. The barbell hasn't arrived yet. It has been dispatched. So um, hopefully that'll be here soon. But yeah, there is a few things to come, but most of uh, the pieces are here, which is great. me done for today we haven't completely finished I've still got to sort out a few of the other bits that were in the gym before we started today make some decisions see if we can squeeze them in anywhere and I tidy everything up but main operation which was to get the power rack up bench set up and to get the cable machine moved of course on the floor as well all complete so chuffed that we've got all of that done to be fair because a little bit of graph that was but it's looking really good I actually um, got these gravity rings for more of a TRX purpose, not because I'm gonna be doing calisthenics. You can definitely do TRX uh, exercises using these, so I'm gonna be doing probably some like reverse crunches and stuff like that, which is why I've set them lower at the moment. But we'll see, a little bit of fun. And as you can see, power rack is set up. We've got the attachments here where the barbell will go for squats, and then I'm probably gonna buy another set of those and stick them lower, which I'll use to rack up when I'm doing bench press. Got the bench in, looks really good. And again, really impressed, feels really sturdy, so that should serve good purpose in here. Then this is the dip bar attachment. This is gonna be really great for hitting those triceps and also the chest. That's where we're at at the moment. Very happy because I can now train every single body part intensely so i haven't really got any excuses now as to why i'm not fulfilling my training needs so i'm gonna head upstairs now and go for a walk with porter and lydia just before the sun sets on us and i need to have a shower because that was a little bit of graft today i definitely am not gonna have a session today i feel like that in itself was a workout so just chilling in front of the tv tonight i think and i'm not sure actually we might be getting a takeaway tonight it could be sunday it could be sunday uh, for valentine's day so yeah I could have that wrong, it might be tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna go upstairs now, get busy, because we have no time to waste. Between concrete walls, there's a place for us Where we could go, where we could be alone Between city lights
nights we don't have to hide I wanna go, do you wanna follow? There's something in the air, I can't explain it but it's there Ain't nobody gonna find us in our secret love affair I don't wanna have to hide no more Oh, I've just put my hand in my pocket and I've done that thing where you put a receipt in the washing machine with your clothes. <laughs> it's just devastating. Oh, it was horrible. I'll have to sort that out in a second. We're in the gym. And as you saw, I just had a little rearrange of, well, I didn't just actually, that was yesterday. I've come down here quickly today to show you that I had obviously rearranged the gym and just put things in places where they weren't so much in the way and the gym was being functional whilst we make further decisions as to uh, where we're going to be purchasing other bits of equipment to make this gym exactly how we want it. I have used the gym for the last couple of days. Obviously, I haven't had the barbell arrive yet. Should it arrive before the end of this video, then I will come down and show you. But we have the rack and the benches are currently out in the middle of the room because I was using them to do dips on uh, yesterday morning. I was in here this morning, actually, had a really good chest session. I'm just really, really excited to get in here and uh, train legs, to be honest with you, which is something I thought I would never say, but I am looking forward to uh, having a good leg session because like I said, I haven't been in a gym for probably a year and a half. I mean, let's be honest, not many people have, have they? But I thought I'd show you anyway how I've arranged the room at the moment. So, so as you can see, we've got the dumbbell rack over here. And like I mentioned before, we're probably gonna have a uh, long vertical rack stuck in so the weights can be close to the wall because that obviously sticks out quite a lot and it's quite hard to access the weights that are on the back of this rack. Uh, this rack is amazing if you've got 360 degree access to it, uh, which unfortunately I can't see how I can make that work in this room. But this is the bench that I got with the Inspire uh, cable machine, which I use as my main bench on uh, the gym flooring over here. I put the punch bag over uh, just to the side of the bench at the moment because I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. It feels a shame to not have it still, uh, because like I said, I do use this sometimes, but finding a spot for it that works is something that we're gonna have to discuss. But we'll see what happens with that. I've put the speaker onto the bench for now, uh, just to keep it off the floor and out of the way. So I can listen to my tunes when I'm, when I'm working out. And then obviously we've spoke a lot about that power app, which I don't need to talk to you about anymore, but as soon as the extra bits come, that's gonna be a lovely functioning piece of equipment that's gonna really help expand the exercises that I can do when I'm in the gym. So. Yeah, that's operation gym complete. The build has uh, been done as much as I can for now anyway. So this is what the new layout is starting to look like. One thing I am really looking forward to changing is this bike. Lily's found an incredible uh, bike online that would look awesome in here. It would look really nicely actually with uh, the rings because it's wooden. So if we do end up changing that at some stage, that'd be really cool. And then I just feel like the whole room could just do with a little bit of jazz, a little bit of an interior touch because at the moment it's very kind of like mechanical, like it's functional, or it will be functional anyway by the time I finish with it. And then it just needs Lydia and the girls just to come in here and just give it a little bit of interior touch to make it a nice environment as well. So we are going to switch the lights off in here for now and get busy cracking on with the day. Well, I've just been busy taking a few calls and whilst I was doing so, it was so noisy in the hallway and I was like what the hell is going on and if I spin around you'll see we have now got no door that is what they were busy doing I've just fed you you want a lap <laughs> she is such a little pest at the minute well it's been a very productive day in the kitchen it is very much a building site at the moment we've got the scaffold up the boys have been busy uh, cladding as i think you would have seen in lydia's vlog on monday but the reason why we're in the uh, kitchen is because today i haven't mentioned it it's shrove tuesday so pancakes are on the house today i don't know actually whether we're gonna have savory or sweet hmm. i don't mind a savory pancake that's an interesting one what are you savory or sweet I've been to many pancake houses in my time, enjoyed a full English breakfast on them and all sorts. So uh, I think Lydia will probably opt for Nutella, uh, I guess, um, or maybe some sugar and lemon, but we'll see. But I'm gonna start sort of prepping all of the uh, pancake mix together. So when Liz get home, we can get busy uh, in our actual kitchen. I know we've got a temporary kitchen at the moment that we are using, but 
when all of the builders have gone, when there normally is a door on, um, we'll open up the door, come in, and we'll use the kind of like kitchen facilities. And then during the working day, we stay out of here and we use the temporary kitchen. So it is quite nice to still be able to use the hob, I have to say, and the oven in the evenings. It's made dinner a lot easier. If you've ever had building works at home, and you've lost your kitchen for a period of time, you realize like how much the kitchen really truly is the heart of the house and how much time you actually spend in this room. So I really can't wait to uh, get this room back, but hopefully, fingers crossed, only a week or two and uh, we will do. You checking everything out? So she's come home, had a bit of food. You are such a little springbok. Also earlier today, I opened up some PR mail on Instagram and I've got some lovely new pieces from Sandro Paris. Absolutely love this peacoat or Paddington jacket uh, from them. And it's in a black, which I actually really don't have many black peacoats. They tend to be in navy and uh, they've got some really nice detailed uh, buttons on them. And of course this lovely shirt and collar. So it's gonna keep me really warm throughout the rest of the winter. It's also nice that it's kind of like mid-length because I find a lot of these jackets can be a lot longer. So it's gonna make a nice addition to the wardrobe. And then I've got this houndstooth pair of brown trousers, which are gonna look really nice with this Ecru long sleeved crew neck jumper. It's 100% wool and it feels amazing. So lovely knitwear. Uh, I think in fact, this little outfit in itself should look quite nice together. So I'm gonna uh, style that up very soon. So keep an eye out for those. Pardon? She's following me everywhere. So yeah, keep an eye on my Instagram because uh, they're probably gonna be started very soon over on there. But anyway, I only come upstairs just to quickly check, see how I'd left it up here. And I'm gonna go down and get busy doing those pancakes. You had a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. So here are the ingredients, nothing more, nothing less. Milk, eggs and flour. And I'm gonna be using the Thermomix to make my life very easy and of course a pan and probably some butter um, and then we then need to decide Lydia if we're having sweet or savoury. She do some savoury ones with the first batch and sweet ones with the second batch or do you like baked beans and cheese? Ooh. So, so basically if we do two big pancakes each so we'll have a pancake with like say beans and cheese. You've been very noisy my love today yeah. Yeah. And then we'll have a sweet after. I think that we'll probably, I think we should do as many pancakes as the first batch makes. Yes. And then as many ba pancakes as the second batch makes, but just do the beginning batch is savoury and the end batch is sweet. Oh, right, you've got a big belly tonight. Haven't I you? am absolutely starving, I feel sick. <laughs> I wanted to order Domino's, but oh, no, you do did, you Domino's did. isn't isn't pancakes. So. No, exactly. Unless, babe, we order a Domino's that have pancakes with pudding. No, babe. No, come on, let's Kids, get busy. I really want a Domino's. We can, we can look forward to one of those at the end of the week. I'm on a good diet. I say a good diet, pancakes isn't great. <laughs> exactly. But... Come on, it's come on. No, come on. It'll be in 15 minutes. No, it won't. It's no. Right, two plates. Come on, chef. I'm so hungry. If you want to get the beans going, I'll get the. I'll do the cheese grating as well. Yeah, you do the cheese grating. I do four eggs. We'll do we'll do the whole batch and then just pour half and half in. Full story. Egg. One. You win some, you lose some. Keep some giving. Um. Ali, gee, what's going on? I crack eggs every day. Oh my gosh, we've got so much baked beans. So many baked beans. Three pots of beans. What do you mean three pots of beans? That's an odd number. There's, There's only three pots, babe. Yeah, so we've one each. How many beans are you eating? Baby. You've got belly bigger than your <laughs> eyes tonight. <laughs> belly bigger than your eyes. Um. I know that was the wrong way around. <laughs> You've only just realised No, that. I haven't. Yes, you have. Shut up. Right. Um, I can't believe how dusty it's made out here. Yeah. Um, can you in the uh, other room? What, babe? In the other room. Can you get the um, measuring jug so I can measure out my milk? 
and I need to weigh out the flour. savage these. But babe, the last time you told me to be honest on your channel was when you made me the vegetables, the rice dish, yeah. <laughs> and I got torn in your So as far as we're concerned, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Just look at you pouring the beans out onto it. You're like... <laughs> Oh dear. All my cheese. Um, there's more cheese, so yeah. Bon appetit. Is that the first batch done? Yeah. So we're only having, having two pancakes each? That looks like one hell of a horrendous pancake. No, it looks good. You think? Yeah. Okay. I'm not too keen. I feel like the pancakes are in line with the current state of this room. I told you, I need to work in good environments. If my environment's not right, everything falls around it. If I had the good kitchen, I would have had a good pancake. You're going to have the good kitchen, babe. Yeah. It's coming. I'd have the good pancakes. Right, Liz is going for lemon and sugar. <laughs> is that what you get? Yeah. Oh, I'm such a basic bitch. <laughs> yeah, very predictable. Yeah, I mean, I love that you cut four lemons. Well, just, I thought you were going to have it. Just in case. <laughs> I let you know I was having to tell her before you got it's the knife true. on it. That is true. I, do you know what? I don't know anyone that only has two pancakes on pancake day, okay? And we're having two pancakes on pancake day. I'll make more. I've left the mix out. Right. Then the mix is there. Be fine. I, I'm happy to have more pancakes. Good. I'm a bit upset that we had candy kittens arrive today because. Oh my gosh, I, I wish my... you'd see this. I got sent a box of um, twe uh, tweets. <laughs> sweets. <laughs> box of tweets. <laughs> I would say sweets then as well. And um, I knew as soon as I opened them, I was like, Ali is going to absolutely love this. And I went downstairs into the bathroom and I just stood there and he went, Oh no. <laughs> It's because I know that I'm just going to eat them so quickly. Yeah. And that's dangerous for my belly and my diet. That I'm trying to, you know, I mean, pancake day is a day of exception, but then so is Saturday, Friday, and Sunday. Yeah, exactly. So you start to windle down your, um, yeah, your scope. Oh, bollocks. That's what happens when you take your eyes off the prize. That's what happens when you're a bull in a china shop in the kitchen. It's not a china shop if it's a kitchen. <laughs> Such a smart ass. I think this summarises my pancake making journey this evening. I don't think it summarises your pancake journey, it's just you in the kitchen in general. I mean, I'm never that untidy, that's abysmal. I feel ashamed and embarrassed <laughs> of my culinary skills. More sugar. More lemon. <laughs> well, whilst the work continues at the house and the greenhouse glass is going in, I've just finished editing up this video and it's going to be going live tonight so I thought I'd better quickly film an ending with little Lumi here. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I look forward to sharing more progress with you on the gym and also of course with the kitchen and the other areas of the house that have been worked on. Have a great rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.